Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you guys could be here. I'm Rooster and right now we're playing Starfield and we're going deep undercover. We're gonna go undercover in the Crimson Pirate Fleet or the Crimson Fleet Pirates, however you wanna go about it. Like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on anything coming your way. It's gonna be a doozy. Now, we've now been tasked with going deep undercover. So deep that we might get in trouble for some of the actions we may or may not have to do. So stick with us and let's find out if we can get through this with as least amount of bloodshed as possible. You guys know what to do. Let's go kick it. Okay, guys, here we are. This is one of the commands that we were given to go deep undercover. We're gonna go head over to the vigilance, the UC vigilance, and let's go find out what's all this about. I give him a little hail. We've been expecting you. You're clear to dock at docking port one. All right, I'll take port dock one. I'm gonna come in and dock into this. All right. Thank you very much. Good day, sirs. Here we go. When we come inside, we're gonna to talk to the guard here. Welcome aboard the UC Vigilance. What's up, bro? Did you have any questions before I escort you to the commander? Well, you know what? Since we're here, I might as well ask you a bunch of questions to find out what's going on with this ship before I do anything. In other words, he hates to repeat himself. Interesting. Just observe standard military decorum, and it should keep you from serving any time on the ship's cleaning detail. Yeah, I won't be doing any cleaning detail there uh, with you and your smug I smile, boy. I to divulge information about this vessel. Suffice to say, it's one of the toughest ships in the UC's arsenal. No, I'm the toughest in the UC arsenal. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, bud. This way, please. All right. Oh. You're the van van that took down that town wolf on Tarsari. I, I am. Everyone upstairs is talking about it. Dang. That must have been one hell of a firefight. It was. I regret missing out on all the fun. Of you know course, what? We did have a... We had a lot of good men and women go down because of that. Because of the whole mind control thing that the alien was using. Should be waiting for you. Good luck. All right, let's go take the elevator. People always think that it's so much f easier. They're like, oh, you, well, you were killing aliens and stuff? Oh, I wish I could have been part of it. Howdy. Dude, we lost people. There are people still messed up in security. That's why I'm helping out the UC security detail whenever I can. A lot of good people got messed up that day because of that terror Excuse me. Do I feel responsible for it? Hello. A little, but not really. Pardon. Just look at this ship, hey? All right. Can we try and focus on the matter at hand, please? Okay, ah, I'm right here. You are. Commander Kibwe Gandhi, UC Sister. Glad to have you aboard. Nice to meet you, Commander. I think you are having second thoughts about Commander Dwala's offer. Eh, Commander Dwala, he, uh, he just asked, and I said I'd get there when I get there. So, the what's up? Sister is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle big picture stuff, we deal specifically with pirates. Oh. I'm involved with the Vanguard. I don't have to underline how important your contribution will be to the security of our space race. <sighs> how many branches of the UC am I going to be involved with? Yes, I know. I was intentionally vague when I advised Mask of my needs. But rest assured, I'll answer all your questions in due time. Okay, well, I'm going to so, need to know what's going down, Big Rick, because I need to know everything stat. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve set dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Okay. I know who the Crimson Fleet is, but I want his. That's strange. According to your file, you've encountered them before. Interesting. They were the pirates that attacked your mining outpost. So you keeping like a complete file upon every little action I do. So you see, you dirty dogs. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. 
And what is that? We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. Okay. That you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Okay. I can pursue you. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bode. Sersha Bode, huh? She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia. So you'll be using oh, it's a good old Trade Authority. They literally work with anybody and everybody. So this makes a lot of sense. Hang on. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you block your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. Okay. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. Gillian Toft. Explain everything you need to know. Alrighty then. Okay, so why are we even bothering with grabbing information if you, you guys have some insights? Need proof that engaging the Crimson Fleet is a larger priority than they're willing to admit. If we shove enough concrete evidence under their noses... But your fleet isn't big enough to actually take out everything. The same time, All the time. ...the evidence to arrest members of the Crimson Fleet, weakening them enough to strike a fatal blow. Okay. Well, that's one way to look at it. I think that this is going to have... Uh, got a bit of confidence in my abilities. I have confidence in your abilities. I would have told Commander Tuala to send someone else. Remember, there is nobody else, man. Operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Uh, how about I just take them down? Just, I'll just wipe them out. You better learn to swim, because you're diving right into the deep end on this one. Mm. I've profile. I know you can do this. I'm not about to throw away someone's life on a whim or a prayer. Just use your best judgment. Trust your instincts. Watch your back. Okay. I wouldn't expect any less. I'll do my best. So, what are the... Before you begin, I want to make something perfect... Okay, he's going to tell us now, because I feel like I'm going to be able to go undercover. You'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. You have got to be kidding. You want me to go in undercover to a the Crimson Fleet doesn't follow the Crimson way. Fleet that murders people, steals money, takes whatever they want, and you want me to play their game. Social graces fall by the wayside in pursuit of their greed. At first glance, this can appear quite enticing. So I'm warning you not to get lured into their trap. I I that? look, bud, I've been offered money from a lot of douche canoes throughout the systems already. Money isn't my driver here. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. Okay. So I don't want promises. I'm just asking you to think. Look, I'll think what I can and what I can do what I can do. Brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Why do I feel like Get no matter what I do, it's not going to be the right decision that what they want me to do. They want me to be sneaky. Maybe we can manipulate some of the guys and people around just by with money. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some uh. morally gray decisions. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Yeah, I, this is exactly the, the conundrum you got me going in. Out there in the first place. All right, so rem <laughs> maintaining my cover as a pirate by abiding your lie, your, your laws. Awesome. To constantly seek alternative means to overcome your obstacles rather than blowing... Well, we don't have non-lethal ways to take people out. I can see it's not like I have rubber bullets or anything or can knock so people out. There's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people. I'm urging you to follow that path. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. 
Well, I'm not going to make any promises because I feel like that's just setting myself up. Myself and the crew of the vigilants will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, you land in jail. You're going to have to deal with the fines. Awesome. So you throw me into the wolves. I have to abide by your rules, but nobody's there to bet. Oh, this is definitely undercover nonsensical bull. Which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all is thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. And who's your informant? Well, how do I main contact with you? That's easy. Don't. Perfect. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance. Oh, to keep uh, within your vicinity. terrific. Please follow me around like a little camera. Your assignments. Head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. All right. If that's everything, Commander. Thank you. All right. Got a nice ship going on in here. A lot of airflow going on with all these computers. See a bunch of books. All right. Well, have a little. Let's talk to this lieutenant first. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. All right. Hoorah. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. I can do that. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Do you want physical evidence or what? Like, what's going on? Since it isn't every day we stumble across a criminal's fully written confession, we need to build a case against our suspects. The more evidence we acquire, the stronger our case becomes. Okay. And knowing the Crimson Fleet, they'll leave plenty of evidence for you to find. So we're going to be looking for, I'm guessing, all the data notes, any computer stuff we can get, right. correct? Every inch of wherever the Crimson Fleet sends you, otherwise you're wasting our time and risking your neck for nothing. Criminals are sloppy. Look hard enough and I'm certain you'll yeah, some of the lower levels are, but the higher level ones aren't going to be stupid and sloppy. They're not going to leave out stuff like that. Why would they tie themselves to it? But that evidence mm. is critical to the success of Commander Akande's operation. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. How about we don't throw them into the brig, brah? Uh, let's use our security. For the sake of the settled systems... I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. Yeah, seen, they are pretty, pretty I'm ruthless. So All right. Thanks for taking that moment of like just reflection. But uh, do you, you want to talk about this? Are you OK, command or lieutenant? It's personal. It has nothing to do with you. Oh, just damn. Stick to the mission and you'll be fine. All right. Hey, I just wanted to let you know I'm here if you need somebody because it sounds like you got like a like a real hard part right going on right there. I can feel it. Of course. PSD the maybe. Will be duly noted in your records. I'll see to that personally. Awesome. Speaking of which, that reminds me of something else you need to know. What's up? Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement. Woo! Each piece of evidence that you return. All right, so any money I need to use to get out of not trying to kill people, I'm going to kind of be reimbursed when I hand back um, Commander Akande came up with the idea. evidence. He was concerned he would not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship. Look, there's a lot of right things to do in this galaxy, and a lot of people think that they're in the right way. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden, and with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. All right. Hey, if you ever feel like you want to, uh... oh yeah, what if we get caught with the? Don't worry. Your you band. Been registered with UC Security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Now, if being you part you of UC Security, I should be able to be like, yeah. Hey. You tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation. Well, I shouldn't even be scanned anymore by the UC. Or by the free star since I'm a ranger. I think that's a little missile. Then close at hand until this operation is complete. So we'll be holding them in the vigilance as brig. If you're feeling particularly ruthless, you could always head down there and say hello. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to see you. Oh, I don't think they will be. Anyways. Really? No. 
I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. Look, your personal experiences actually help build who you are in this job, miss. Yeah, maybe. I'm here for you if you need me. No. It, wink, wink. It's not really an appropriate time to be going over my private life. There are much more important things to be done. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. Okay, we can do that. Maybe we can talk about it some other time. Hey. Okay. Maybe we can. I, uh, I hope to see you around. If you have any more questions. I like a woman in uniform. What can I say? All right, let's pop down here. It's nothing up there. That just takes you to the front room. Nothing important. Let's check out what do we got in here. Oh, magazine. Combat tech catalog. Slightly increases the range and accuracy of combat tech weapons. Now, I'm guessing that's a type of gun we use. So that's pretty cool. I'll take it. Whatever we can do that brings up any gear for us, we'll do in it. All right. Let's bounce. Let's go to Sidonia. It's on Mars. It's a nice place. Okay. Let's go down there and see how the Martians are doing. It's a nice night. Not too windy. The skies are not cloudy with the rest dust. I don't think they cling to their old ways, my friends. I think that it's a decent system. It's got some decent planets and moons for stuff. I don't, we haven't really found out what's been going on. Five, 513 hours, guys, without an accident. Yay. Go Sidonia. You guys are doing it. Because last time I was here, it was zero. And before that, it was 46. So that's not, not too shabby. All right, right up in here. Doesn't have a sign on the outside. So it's this first door where this guy's leaning up against it. It's a trade authority. Now, before when I was in here, we're doing some running around. I did sneak through. So she's been like chilling here for a while doing her stuff. I do. Look, I'm looking for you. Octai and Bio. He's the head of our Sidonia branch. If you want to do some trading... Oh, uh, I've dealt with him. He they tried to make me pay off somebody's debt. So, no, I will not. I'm trying to get some sensitive shipment unfloated. I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I don't. Not at all. probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Well, I'll tell you what I got. Here's a sample. Mm hmm. hmm. Aurora, huh? Hmm. Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? What are you. If the Trade Authority is not interested, that says a great deal. If you can't handle it, can you point me to somebody can? I do not have time to waste around. All I'm going to point out is the ceiling with my middle finger. Oh, damn, girl. Get stuff out of here before you see security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody needs to get their $3 worth. Like, come on. What do you got? Sure, go ahead. You shoot me and the TA will have bounty hunters on your ass before you even get back to the spaceport. Mm. Listen, love, I've heard it all. Let's bounce right off. So either cough up the finder's fee or try and sell that shipment on your own. Um, I have to pay you to find out where to I'm sell my... I'm going to be new at this game, love, so I'm going to let that one slide. Yeah. In our business, nothing gets done until money is exchanged. Even if that means leaving a credit on each and every rung of the ladder as you climb your way up. Okay. Well, fair enough. If that's how we want to play it. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. You gotta be kidding me. Just demand the extra credits up front next time. These games are juvenile and tiresome. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Damn. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. Adler if Kemp. He passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. I wish you could punch somebody right in the stupid face some days, man. 
and it not do anything. It just like knock him out. Like you get a shot and I can take you out without having to murder you. All right. This is the broken spear. Hmm. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Oh, you look like a dude. Um, let's just get right to the point. Let's stop. Let's not skip around. Whoop. Why don't you say that a little louder? I will if you want. Oh. You need to chillax, Big Rig. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. Perfect. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. Super fast. Oh my god, okay. Don't smirk at me, you jackal. Alright, let's just go. Who is uh we, us, you and me? You're a clever one, aren't you? Oh. Let's just say I have a clever girl. The influential affiliation. And leave it at that. Basically, you want that Aurora moved? Your guy. All right. So, are you with the, <laughs> the with this, this guy's gonna lose it. I'm not going to lock up, buddy. All right. Do you want my help moving your product or not? Okay. Can you please help me? Moving some product. Yeah, well, she isn't running the show here. I am. I see no good reason why we should have any extra dealings with the likes of you. Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Ah, uh, we are. Listen up. Guess our hands are tied. Okay, go. I need you to deal with the miner who's racked up a bunch of debts. Oh my god. Every day with you guys racking up debts. Either way, I want that money back. If they've racked up debts, how do they have the money to take from? And I'm not paying off his debt. Now, you probably could and just move on, but I'm not paying other people's debts. Write you an instruction manual. You can do this loud. You can do this quiet. I don't care. I just want my goddamn money, and I want this guy to remember who he screwed over. Okay. So, Perfect. I'm going to go take care of that. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners quarters. The Deimos Miner quarters, eh? Hey? Look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. All right. So, being undercover means we're going to have to uh, kiss a lot of boots to get where we need to go. I get that. And everybody wants something done because nobody wants to do anything for free. I also understand that. The problem with that is that it's kind of obnoxious. Like, dude, Billy from accounting sent me over here to do this. Yeah, well, I'm not going to listen to him. You're going to do something for me. Well, you can pass on. So we're going to come down the stairs. If you go further down, there's that weird bar down there. What is, that looks kind of cool. I think that looks kind of cool. Sometimes the artwork for this game, absolutely gorgeous, it's beautiful. Now, our, looks like our guy is literally sitting right here on the floor. Something I can help you with? With a UC security guy standing right beside him. This guy's smart. Uh, hey, slow down. Yeah. I don't even know what you're talking about. How about I just break a finger and you give me some monies and I'll be on my way. I don't have time for your games. I'm getting dinked around all over this stupid rock. Of course I owe money. Unless you're independently wealthy. Everyone's in debt nowadays. I owe Deimos. I owe my landlord. I wow. owe Galbank. Heck, I have a tab at Parsec Deep at Sespear. It's an endless list. So why don't you just leave me here? Let me get drunk and find How about you stop getting to... drunk? Okay. How about that? Dude. What? These people are, will what? kill you. You're obviously confusing me with someone else. Look. I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. 
Okay, I understand that. That's some hardcore work when you're working down in some mines. I'll give you that. Respect. It's, it's not fun, dude. I'm not going to go back and tell him that. So, uh, how about I tell... Mm, yeah, let's do this one. Shall we? I don't know. It's nice to know you. It's your funeral. Tell an Adler. Yeah, Adla. Keep saying it over and over again. Maybe you'll remember who it is. Wait, you mean that Adla? Yeah. Was there a lot of them on this in this city? Oh, come on, buddy. I told him I'd pay up next week when Demos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Sound good? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna fall for that nonsense. How about you pay now, or I'm sending you corpse in a casket? <laughs> That's so hardcore. I'm not going to kill him, obviously, because there's a cop beside us, but... Give me a break. What the... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. I love that saying, but it's true, you can. Right? Oh, I can. Clearly, this man has never seen how hard I can squeeze. Uh, promise to stop borrowing and I'll pay. I'm not paying your debt. I'm tired of your games. I want to pursue. Yeah, let's do this. What games? Why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing I shit to you, bud. You've gone money. done this to yourself. Look. This is not a risk you're willing to take. I, I could ask for a seven day shift. I don't know. Come on. Some rainy day money stashed away somewhere. Let's just keep it nice and light. We shouldn't have racked up bills. Look, keep it in the green, guys, to help push it along easier. Well, I didn't have much of a choice. What choice was that? Tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. Ugh. I didn't have much of a choice. Look, this is one less person you owe money to. Do your best. Maybe work on your landlord next, or maybe just working on your tab at the Broken Arrow and work your way. Try to do one at a time, at least. Because I have a f bad feeling that if I have to work doing any other quests for any of those other groups that he said, I might have to come back and see this guy again. When you get people that are that far into debt, I feel like we're just always bashing them up, trying to take their money, I guess. All right. Back to the broken arrow we go. Let's hop inside. I could use a break. Have something for me? Yeah, here it is. There, would you look at that? I knew that bug was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Uh, I don't think so. He got the message, don't worry. Nice, nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Am I? Yeah, it's not something I want to get used to, okay? If you like this kind of work, I could get you more. A lot more. You meaning maybe with a certain group? With my, uh, associates. Oh, well, it looks like maybe I can do a little bit more work for you guys if I'm interested. I'm interested? Come on. You're not shopping for real estate. I'm offering you a crack at some real money. So can you handle it or what? Dude, I can handle whatever you're putting up there. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Mr. Kemp. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of neighbor Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. All right. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you. Perfect. Today. Thank you. Let's see how much did I make. Oh, 9,300. Not too shabby. All right. I guess that's where we're going to leave it right now. There's a lot going on being undercover. So we're going to take our time. Now, there are two ways to becoming undercover. We get to choose to do it like I just did. Or if you're running with contraband and they force you to do it where you don't have much of a choice. Either way, we're going deep undercover and we're going to take down some Crimson Fleet pirates one at a time so until next time guys stay safe keep on gaming and unlock your rage